I'm living my best life. I ain't going back forth with you, niggas. I'm living my best life. We got straddles back in this bitch. I'm living my best life. What's going on, everybody? So, in today's video, you guys already know it's going to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog. Innovation YGO vlog. And in this vlog, I'm going to just be discussing some of the best decks to play in this format. Now, typically when I do these videos, y'all, I do a separated top 10 format. Fuck all that. We going to just do decks that I think is good throughout the day. So, all right, man, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me. She ain't trying to move. So, first deck that come to my mind. You guys already know. Mass Hero. Mass Heroes is definitely going to be a solid deck to play up this format. And the deck to play this format. Reason being, Stratos. Now, deck took a big hit because of um, a hero lives. But, while we lose a hero lives, we gain Stratos, we gain Super Poly, and I know OCG don't run it, but super, fuck OCG players, like, they're, they're smart, don't get me wrong, they pretty much been playing the game since its inception back in 98, but Super Poly, the stun capabilities in that card is amazing. Think about it. How many times have you guys lost your Dark Law to like a Regeki? Now, if they ride Gaki or some shit like that, or whatever, or if you know they're gonna try to take care, take care of your Dark Law, or hell, if you just wanna do some more OTK potential, you can just go, okay, attack with Dark Law. Oh, that nigga over there, threat, Super Poly, Fusion Hot, Dark Law off with that guy over there. Bring out my um, Hero Adoration, no, not the Hero Adoration, but the Dark Hero guy. Can't you think of his name right now? No, I got him at home somewhere. I mean, the list can go on from there, man. Um, you know, Super Poly comboed with, you know, Honestly Neos. It's going to add for a lot of um, FTK, OTK potential. So with that being said, I'm definitely thinking that um, Heroes is going to be a great deck. Now, it ain't going to be the best deck now. It's going to be a really good deck to pick up for the format. And I'm going to give you guys one more deck because, fuck, I'm only on my 15 minute break. Another deck that's really good. Now, I watched Team Summer X's video, and he talked about Mech Knight. Um, you know, Mech Knight invoke that deck. That deck pretty much didn't get touched at all. It's really good because the Magnite monsters are very solid for what to do. You know, spam to the field. And the Invoke Engine is really good for stunning the um, opponent just due to the fact that, you know, you get to Invoke Mech Button negate and stuff. The Magnite monsters is hitting the field with beefy attack power. So, you know, that deck right there I think is going to be really, really solid, bro. So, you know, man, pick up Magmites and pick up Heroes. This format's going to be freaking awesome, bro. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, man. See you guys in the next clip. We'll discuss some more decks. Stay tuned. Alright y'all, so welcome to the second part of this vlog. So, as you guys saw, I, I was at work. I started my shift, went to lunch, had a pretty good pasta. Oh my god, it was flaming, as you guys can see. So, I'm going to talk about some more decks I think will be pretty good in this format. First two decks that come to mind is definitely Goki, because like, like I said, the deck ain't dead. The deck can still perform well without the um, Goki Goblin. Um, according to a lot of Goki players, I'm not a Goki professional, so I'm not going to sit up here and sugarcoat it like I know everything about the deck. But to a lot of the Goki players and the people who play the deck, you just need more steps. So the deck is this good, but with more steps in my Ricky Morty voice. Now, um, you know, you leaking, all the stuff Goki can do is just is, is redundant. Um, Firewall not being bad, definitely, definitely kept that deck on top tier. Another good deck for the format is, um, what else? What was it? Other thing? True Draco. Now. This deck, oh my god, guys, this deck, uh, that deck's fucking annoying. Um, the fact that, yeah, Masterpiece is gone, but the fact that the deck can just stun so well has Carter Demise. The deck has a lot of those other, um, true Draco cards allowing them to just tutor the deck. So when they go to the graveyard, they pop, they pop field spells, they bring the true Draco monsters back, they just do a lot of recursion. And they just do, they give you a lot of bang for your buck. The deck is very easy to plus with. So, yeah, True Dracos and um, Gokis are some of the best decks going into this meta. Trick Stars as well. Trick Stars, you guys already know, it didn't lose any steam, didn't lose any power. Um, yeah, Trick Stars definitely going to be one of it. It got bumped up on the tier list a lot. 
Um, yeah, the other two decks I can think of at the moment. I'm right, right now about to give me some Italian ice. If you guys are from Chicago, from the Midwest, you guys know Italian ice is fucking flame. Oh my god, it's so so good. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. And while I'm gonna discuss some more um decks to play for this current meta. All right, I know this vlog is kind of like yeah, it's all over the place, but yeah, man, pretty simple day, just work, home, etc. So see y'all in the next clip. <laughs> Lime and coconut flavor, bro. So freaking good. If you guys don't know what Italian ice is, it's pretty much flavor with ice. I got I don't know how they do they crunch it up. They add real coconut in this place called Miko's. Oh my god, so freaking good. And the lime, you can actually taste the lime, man. If you guys don't want to try it out, Miko's Italian Ice in Chicago. They're usually only open in the spring and the summer, man. So, yeah, see y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all. So, I made it back home now. Um, that Italian ice is fucking amazing. So, a few more decks I wanted to talk about. Um, definitely Cyber Dragons and Cosmos, because I think those are going to be some pretty much killer decks in the up and coming format. Let's get with Cyber Dragons. That deck, with the whole capabilities of using that new Cyber Dragon um, Fusion card, I guess it's not new anymore. It's new to me, but I guess it's not new anymore. It allows you to pretty much fusion off an entire field via cyber dragon which is awesome but the main thing about it though not only only are you gonna be able to clear out fields you have double limited removal to work with which is insane otk potential up the ass i mean cyber dragon already have power bond to work with and i'm not saying it's gonna be the best deck in the format but it was already a solid rogue pick so i think it's definitely gonna be a good choice to pick for the um upcoming meta that we're going into Cosmos now. Cosmos is a deck kind of similar to Cyber Dragons. They already had good control with Cosmo, Good Witch, and you know, with Dark Destroyer pretty much being back almost at full power, being at two. Dark Destroyer plus some removal, a 6,000 attack. He dies. He gets the surge. I mean, I can just see a lot of potential and trolley plays with that deck. Now, once again, it falls favor to how Cyber Dragons are, where they are roguish, so once a few of their plays die off, they're GG no read, there's not much you can do. But the benefit of both of those decks are is they are great decks that do not rely on link monsters, which are huge. Now, Cyber Dragon does have a link monster, I just realized they I just remembered actually. They have a Cyber Dragon link monster, but the fact that both of them, both of those decks can essentially play without links are really good. And Cyber Dragon Infinity is a card, and Cosmo, Good Witch, Dark Witch, whatever the hell that bitch's name, is a card that can negate card effects. So I think those are both going to be solid pickups for the um, upcoming meta. See you guys in the next clip. Another thing I want to talk about when it comes to the up and coming meta, and it's not really necessarily about the um, best decks at this moment, but it's going to be rather talking about people overpaying for the hero stuff. Apparently Stratos is going for 30 to 50 bucks depending on what bearing you're getting. I'm just like Really guys y'all gonna pay that much for a freaking Stratos y'all are crazy And they're uh, I think their lowest Stratos is two bucks Which is still cool. Well, that ain't bad for Stratos, but People paying 50 for Stratos Then they're paying eight for Super Poly. Apparently they jumped to play eight bucks and I'm like <laughs> Y'all not realize the legendary hero decks are coming out in like two weeks. So, you know, I know the hero hype is huge and, over, and every, everything right now, guys. Do not overpay. I mean, balance happen and people are gonna wanna buy the stuff because they need the stuff early. But 200 YCS is in two weeks. Actually, I think in a week now. And unless you are going to an event, there is no reason to overpay for anything. If you're just gonna be playing at locals or hell, even regionals, just wait to pick the stuff up or try to get on the low I'm, I'm i'm sorry me personally i'm not gonna definitely not gonna pay overpay for stratos i'm not gonna overpay for anything because as far as you guys know stratos more than likely will be in a legendary hero decks as a super or a secret now you don't overpay your money for an older print just to have it for you can play it at locals when you could have just waited and got in a better fair um better foil rarity anyway i guess some people actually want the original original i think i think the one that was like 50 bucks was like some common version that was like some feral 
it's exclusive. It's fucking common. I, I, it doesn't matter what how exclusive it is. But if you're into that type of thing, I guess why not? <laughs> All right, man. I just had to get that off my chest. I thought it was pretty funny. The market's insane. Make smart Yu-Gi-Oh investments, guys. Smart Yu-Gi-Oh investments. Never pay full price for anything, and only buy cards when you're going to advance. All right, man. That's a little nugget I'm gonna leave you guys with. See you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all. So as I end this video off, there's one question that needs to be asked: What is the best deck of the format? And I think that's pretty pretty much simple. There is no best deck of the format at the moment. Everything in this video I did today was all speculation. No one has the format figured out just yet. Even if they tell you they do, they do not. Now, I can list a thousand and one decks that I think would be good in this format, but I think I listed enough, honestly. So post y'all thoughts and opinions what y'all think are the best decks for this format in the comment section down below. Rogue or um, competitive. Whatever deck you guys like to play, I want to hear them. Um, ultimately though, in my personal opinion, the de best deck may wind up just being Goki. Based on the fact that I've looked on Zodiac Duelist and the deck can still just make a U-shaped combo. So yeah, man, uh, with all that being said, as you guys probably can tell, I'm getting exhausted, worked all day, works kicking my ass. I got bags under my ass, so man, I'm not gonna just expend energy I don't have. This is Innovation YGO, bringing you guys a Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog, explaining my best decks for the current format, and I'm signing out. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces.